right, so last week we talked about volume, which was LT6. And remember, we were looking at that container of Starburst, and volume was how many unit cubes fit inside of this shape. So we were able to count all the Starbursts that fit in here, and that gave us the volume. The same thing is true if I'm looking at this Rubik's Cube. So volume would be how many cubes fit inside. So if you know Rubik's Cube, it's made up of just little cubes. And there, remember to find the volume, you find the area of the base, and then multiply by the height. So if I call the white the base, there's nine blocks on the bottom. So there's nine on the base, and then it has a height of three. So nine times three is 27. So there's 27 little blocks that fit in here. That's the volume. But this week we're doing surface area, which is LT5. So surface area is exactly what it sounds like. It's the area of all the surfaces. So when it says the surfaces, like for this Rubik's Cube, it means let me find the area of all the different colored sides. So I'm gonna find the area of the white side, the green, the orange, the red, the yellow, and the blue, and I'm gonna add all those up. So like if I look at this white side, the area is three times three, which is nine, and the area of the blue one is nine, 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 and nine. So basically I'm just gonna add up all those different areas and that's gonna give me the surface area. All right, before we get into surface area, I wanna go over the different types of 3D shapes so you know the names of them. In seventh grade, we'll be dealing with two shapes mostly. So we'll be dealing with pyramids and then we'll be dealing with prisms. So I think most of us know what a pyramid is, um, like the ones in Egypt, it has a shape on the bottom and then all the different sides are gonna come up and meet at one point here. Okay, so that's a pyramid. A prism on the other hand though, is um, like this is a rectangular prism. And the reason it's a rectangular prism is because it has a rectangle and a rectangle and then it has like long rectangles in the middle. So this is called a rectangular prism because it has rectangles on the ends. I don't have a triangular prism, but if a triangular prism would look like a triangle, a triangle, and then it would have long rectangles down the middle. So basically what a prism is, is you're basically taking whatever that main shape is and just stacking it a bunch of times or a bunch of times until you get a prism. So if I take a note card, this is one rectangle, but if I stack up a lot of them, this is now a rectangular prism. So I can either see it as there's a rectangle on the bottom and on the top, and then it just kind of like, imagine if I kind of like stretch this up a bunch, it would make a tall rectangular prism. Or I can look at it and say, oh, there's a rectangle here, a rectangle here, and so this is a rectangular prism that way as well. Like I have these um, post-its that are shaped like a star. This is just one star. If a star, like I don't really have a name for this, but I could call it like a star prism because basically if I stack, because this is a bunch of um, post-its that are shaped like stars. If I stack these now, this is a star prism because it's basically just a star a star in the back, and then a bunch of them stacked in the middle. So prism is basically just a bunch of stacks of the same shapes, either vertical or horizontal. And then a pyramid is one that meets at the top. And this one is a square-based pyramid because it has a square on the bottom. If it had a triangle on the bottom, it would be a triangular pyramid. All right, I'm gonna show you how to find surface area. I'm gonna do this example pretty quick. I'm not gonna write down every single step. I'll do that in the next video, but this one's just kind of a quick overview. So um, if I'm looking at this box, this was my lunch the other day. Um, so it's this is a rectangular prism because it has a rectangle on the back, rectangle on the front, and it's kind of a bunch of them stacked together. So it has a front, a back, a top, has a bottom, has a sorry a left and then it has a right so you can see that has six sides so remember for surface area we're finding the area of all the surfaces so I'm gonna find the area of the front and the back top and the bottom left and the right um, so remember that first video you watched for this week was talking about net so if I wanted to I could so I have another box I could kind of cut it apart and this is the net so if I was to take this and fold it I would get that original box all over again. Here's the front of it. But if I lay it out, this is a net. So some of you might like to find surface area this way because it's easier to see the different shapes. Like I can see that there's a rectangle here, rectangle here, here. Here's a big rectangle, a little rectangle again, and then a big rectangle. So you can see that you're finding the area of one, two, three, four, five, six different rectangles. 
Or if you want, you can just look at the original box and find the area of all six sides that way. So looking at this, I measured it and it was six centimeters in length, seven centimeters in height, and two centimeters in width. And so I'm going to use my net, but again, um, in the next video, I'll go a little bit slower into this. But so starting off, I measured that the front was six centimeters by seven centimeters. So areas length times width. So six times seven is 42. So we know that this front side is going to be 42 centimeters. And if we look at the box, you notice that the front is the same size as the back. So if I know that the front is 42 centimeters, I know that the back's got to be 42. So, so far we have those two done. So looking at the bottom side now, I can see that this is six centimeters. And because this is two centimeters, I know that this one is as well. Because if I look at the box, if this is two, that's going to be the same length as if I was to um, bring this side out. So this is going to be six centimeters by two centimeters, which means this is 12 is the area of the bottom. And we know that the bottom is the same as the top because they're the same size. So if this one's 12, this one's going to be 12. Okay. And then for the right side, it's seven centimeters by two, seven, two centimeters. Sorry. So seven times two is 14. So 14 for the right, 14 for the left because they're the same size. So I just found out the area of the front was 42. The back is 42, the top is 12, the bottom is 12, the right is 14, the left is 14. So what I need to do is add those six numbers together and that's going to give me my total surface area because remember surface area is the area of just all the sides. So if you can find the area of one shape, you can find surface area because you're just doing it for all the different sides.